Thank you, Sherry. It's sure my privilege to be here today uh, to challenge your thinking, asking what is your aim? What are you aiming for in life? You know, as we take a look, and Mary gave us the idea that business in the 21st century is volatile at best. At worst, it's just plain scary. So why would any individual or company want to be involved in business with a scene as we see it today? Why? Because the opportunity is seen greater than the threat. Thus, it's something to pursue. In the 21st century, is business more challenging than it's been in centuries in the past or decades in the past? Yes and no. See, it's all in the eye of the beholder. If we look back over most every generation, if you wanted to see bad, if that's what you were looking for, that's what you'd see. If you wanted to look at everything through rose-colored glasses and see everything is only good, that's what you'd see. To me, both extremes are not realistic. And you must learn to take one day at a time and see the whole picture. Today, I want us to look into the future through what we can see today. However, you have to learn to look at the future, but never forget that you can't live in the future. You always need to be living today. But also realize this, there will always be a group of people around that want to live in yesterday. And living in yesterday is even worse than trying to live in tomorrow. Many of you are considering new ventures and you've done new venture projects. And you see where they could lead you. But how do you know when you've arrived? What are you aiming at? Steve Covey in his best-selling book, The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, says this about one of his habits. Begin with the end in mind. Or to say it another way, know what you're aiming at. Business in the 21st century is risky. So how risk adverse are you? Are you the type of person who's always trying to minimize the risks? Are you the try to, person who tries to take it to the limit and push it to the maximum? So I come back to the question, why are you in business today? What are you aiming for? If you aim at nothing, you're bound to hit it every time. So let me give you something that I think you should aim for in life and keeping the end in mind. The goal, this goal can work for a new, new venture or it can work for a business that's more than a century old. Failing to adopt this goal may make the leader of any venture fail. I believe it's the goal of each, what our goal should for each one of us is to aim for contentment with work. Contentment with work. Are you kidding? I never want to work that way. I always want to be moving ahead. I always want to become successful. I want to become comfortable and then retire. I contend this, if you go down that path, you'll always be moving ahead and be more successful so you can be comfortable. But you've chosen a path that eventually will lead to disappointment and a potential train wreck waiting to happen. Yes, you may end up having a great deal of money. You may have a lot of things. You may have many friends, but you will never be content. And if you don't learn contentment, you will never be satisfied. And thus, you can't even be comfortable. You see, contentment and comfort are exact opposites. You know, this morning, all of you got up and you looked in the mirror. When you looked in the mirror, did you see an exact reflection of who you are? No. What you saw in the mirror was exactly backwards. But it looks just like the genuine. And that's what it is with contentment and comfort. Exact opposites.